So here is a homemade mask. This wraps around your neck and this ties to the top of your head. It has a pocket that you put a filter material in and I'm using a shop towel. And shop towels uh, have been proven to be a very excellent filter medium. You can see here how it does a nice little jog around for your nose and I highly recommend you make these masks. Essentially, you want to create two pieces. This one would go on top of this one, and you sew it here along the seams and around to here and here. And then you end up with this. You've sewn this garment, right? You've sewn it up. And now you've got a pocket here. Now this is inside out. Now we're gonna flip it so it's right side out. Now you have this like this, all right? And I put a piece of metal into here. This is 24 gauge galvanized wire that is in here. That's for your nose when you have to tweak it so that it will stick around your nose. You start out, you make a template that's eight inches by 10 inches. That's eight inches to there, 10 inches to there. Now I take this, this is a rotary cutter. It's a very nice tool. You can also use a scissor to do this as well. And I'm cutting that piece that I just showed you. You can take your fabric and you can double it up, triple it up, quadruple it up, however you'd like to do it. And you can do the same exact thing I'm doing with a rotary cutter. If you use a scissor, it's not going to work that way. It takes a lot of precision. This is my other template. This goes from here to here to the top to five inches. From here to the top of this is four and a half inches. See, if I fold that like that, now it's four and a half inches. If I bring it up, I get my other half inch. You're gonna make two cuts of cloth uh, that will be this size, five inches and four and a half inches. I'm going to use this fabric instead of this fabric because I don't have any more of this fabric to show you. And I'm gonna cut it to two pieces that are two different sizes, one five and a half, five inches, and one at four and a half. I'm gonna be cutting it at five and five inches for my first cut. I have two pieces now that are five inches. I'm gonna take this one and I'm gonna cut it to four and a half. You take both of these and put one on top of the other with the pattern side facing itself. I have this material, it is triangle tailor's chalk. That's what it looks like. Now, this is, this is another template, this is marked at three inches and three inches. And I made these little notches here so I know exactly where to go. Now I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna put this over here 
and I'm going to make a mark. Now you can see where you're going to sew to because you're going to sew to here and you're going to sew down to there because you're making it uh, so that you can put a filter into your mask. I want to come in about a half an inch. I'm leaving a little like eighth of an inch and that is about a half inch over there. Okay, and now I'm going to go and sew in because later I'm going to have to iron out this seam. Okay, and I'm going down. I'm at a half inch. Now I'm going to run it back. I'm going to run it forward, run it back. Now this is what it looks like here. Now you have this nice seam and then you have this opening. Now this I've split split the seam and I'm using my finger to mush it down to make a crease in it. Some fabric will not do this, so you'll need to use a uh, an iron and iron that. Now I'm going to sew the edge here uh, from the back. I want everything to be solid. Essentially you're doing a hem. Lift this up, come back. There you go. Come back. Voila. Now I have this beautiful, beautiful hemmed opening. And this is where the filter will eventually go into. Now we're putting the wire in here when we're doing our initial sewing because otherwise it's really hard to do later. I'm going to go to the five inch piece that this is the, the long one. I'm going to fold this over about a half inch and then I'm going to sew it. Make sure your thread is going in the right direction. And I'm going to sew it here. If you do a measurement, you're about two and a half inches from the end on each side of here. Two and a half inches, that will fit within this space. If you look here, from there where the needle comes down to this piece of tape here, that is two and a half inches. You're doing, say, 30 of these things, however many. You do not have to keep measuring. So here is the galvanized wire you should use and you measure it to five and a half inches and cut. There you go. Just cut it. You're going to take your wire cutter, your wire, and you're bending it over. Now you're going to crimp it. There you go. There you go. You got a nice little loop on that. This is what it should look like. Take my piece. I got two and a half inches right here because I put my mark there. And now I'm going to sew. And I'm going to back stitch. And I'm going to go forward. And I'm going to back stitch once more. See that? Beautiful. Now I take this piece, which I've already cut, and it does not matter which side it is on, and I line this up like that with the edge on that, the edge on that looks pretty good. So I start at the top because this will be the top where that nose piece goes in with that wire. And I come in about an eighth of an inch or so. And I start sewing. I'm back stitching. I don't. You don't have to. And I can check my length with my piece of uh, wire here. And I could go a little further. There. Now, pop this up. Make sure your needle is still in there. You take your wire. You stick it in here, and you push it in. 
Make sure you don't get it hooked on anything. You want it to go in. Okay, and you can pull it. You can actually pull it. Of course, yes, there it goes. Okay, and get it all the way in there. Okay, you want it to go all the way to the end. Now, now you take your cloth, you flip it like this, and now you're about, I don't know, quarter inch away from there. You're gonna go forward, forward stitch, back stitch, forward stitch, back stitch. Now, very important when you do this, that uh, you are away from that piece of metal because otherwise you will break your needle. And that is a very unfortunate thing. Then I go forward here. All right, come around. Okay, I'm in a little bit. So I'm gonna come in, I'm gonna come in a little bit. Come on, come on, mush that through there. There, okay. Now I wanna be in about three eighths of an inch or so. Make sure that everything is lining up. Okay, so now you take your cloth and you pull it through. Now, I'm using a chopstick here just to push my corners out. You can also clip your corners on the ends if you'd like to. That looks pretty good to me. Now, you want to get your... Uh, I'm at four, and this is for cotton poly blend. That's the heat level you want to have it at for your iron because you're going to be ironing your piece. So here's my piece, and now I'm going to iron it. This is where my wire is here. I want that to be at the top, All right? And I'm going to iron it, and I have the steam blend steam feature here. There you go. Iron this thing so it's flat. All right, that's not too pretty there. So you wanna make sure that all of your edges are nice and pretty. There you go. Now, you are going to take this and fold it over about three quarters of an inch like this. And I like to steam it. I like steam. Do the other side. Three quarters of an inch. Now, alternatively, you could also fold this in like that and steam it and make a very pretty corner. But depending on how much time you want to put in on this, I got pretty corners. I'm gonna have pretty corners on this one. Look at that. There you go. Now I'm using this, it's called Paracord. You get it at Home Depot. It's about four dollars, five dollars for 75 feet. And I'm going to make a 52 inch uh, length. 36 and 16 is 52. There you go. And that's where that's 52 inches. And I'm going to cut it now. There you go. This is how you tie a figure eight knot. You bring it around, you go over like that. Turn it under. Now put it back through the loop and pull this down. You wanna make sure that the bitter end is at the bitter end, at towards the end. You don't want to have a huge amount of uh, material left at the end. Half inch, three eighths of an inch is good. That's a good amount. You take your, your cord, you wrap it, you run it through here. 
notice that this is at the top where your little nose uh, wire is. Okay. Take your piece of material and run it over like that. Go to the top and you run and go back and forth, back and forth, stick, back stitch, come over to here. And when you get to the top of that area of your little crease, you back stitch. Now you're gonna run through, back stitch a couple times. Stop. Pop that up, cut your thread. Okay, this has to be at the top because this will be tying at the top of your head. Make sure you do that, that way. The other side, okay, going a little fast. Okay, that up, oh, gotta come down. Okay, back stitch. Back stitch at the end. Keep going. Boom, boom, boom. You're done. This is your piece. So you're going to need to have some sort of filter material. Now, I made a template out of a piece of paper. I cut it out and the, the filter template will fit the filter will fit within this space inside of here. Push it in. This is shop towels. This shop towels have been proven to be to like 80 to 90% of all particles of very fine microns. Uh, cannot get through this. So this is a, a great way. Plus you've got your your cloth as a filter. You can see here how it does a nice little jog around for your nose and I highly recommend you make these masks.